Hi all, in this video I'm going to show you some steps you can take if your students run into troubles writing one of your Blackboard tests. So at this point I'm assuming you've already built the test, your students are starting to write it, maybe you're getting emails saying something's going on and it's wrong. Well, first thing we're going to likely want to do is go in and actually check that student's attempt. So what we can do is go to the Grade Center, and in my case I'm going to click the Full Grade Center, and now you want to actually find that specific student and the column for that specific test. So in this case, you'd click the arrow right beside the attempt, and you can see if there's multiple attempts, the yellow exclamation mark means it needs grading. So let's go in and look at one of these attempts. Right off the bat, I can actually view the entire attempt the student has given. In this case, I can look at whatever answers they've given. Uh, I can see if they got it right or wrong. If I really want, I can override the grading. Uh, for an essay, I could put in some feedback or again, put in a grade. But you can also look at previous attempts. So if I want to see attempt one, I can take a quick look at that. But even better, you might want to look at the access log, especially again, if you, one of your students is saying they're having problems, they got disconnected, take a look at the access log because it records everything your student did while in the test. You can see it records when the test was started and then will tell me things like, oh, they started working on question two and saved it and how long they spent. So it should help you figure out what went wrong if something did. In this case, I can see there was about 25 seconds spent in this test, so clearly something went wrong. Good way to check what your students are telling you. Now, you can also go in and actually clear the attempt if you want. Maybe you only gave students two tries and they accidentally used both. Well, you could go in and clear one of those attempts so that they could redo it. Of course, you might not want to clear an attempt because you might want to be able to review it later. What you can do instead is go to the test itself and make an exception for this student. So let's see how that would be done. I'd go back to the test. I would click in to the test itself and look at the test options. So we're going to edit the test options and we're going to scroll down to the test availability exceptions. So what I can do is find that specific student. So I, you saw I clicked the thing, it made a pop-up window. I picked that specific student, click Submit, and now I can make an exception for that student. Maybe it's something simple like I just need to give them an extra try. Fine. I can give them three tries, and that's just for this student. I could also change the availability window. Maybe the test just closed, and you don't want to make it available to all of the students. Well, I can make an availability exception just for that student. So maybe I want to extend how long this exam is open for just for this specific student. So I'm going to give them until, I don't know, let's say 3 p.m. just so that I know they have time to go in and use this new attempt I've given them. And then I'll just click Submit, and that made an exception just for that student, and I could do it for each one that I need to. So hopefully this helps.